All righty, 506 now. Good Tuesday morning. North Carolina students are adding one more requirement for high schoolers to graduate. Now, the new standards were signed into law yesterday. It means students will have to take a computer science course if they want to walk the stage. The new recs mean another item on students' checklist, but it does come as jobs in the field are expected to grow. So every year, state researchers look at what jobs are growing the fastest, and computer and math-related jobs are topping the list. Now, for students who are not wanting to take this class, well, maybe this will pique your interest. North Carolina's Department of Com Commerce put the median salary for these jobs at more than $98,000 a year. Computer science is a broad category, but it covers jobs like software developers, support specialists. Now, turning to the bill itself, though, it says the new required lesson should include instruction on software designs and even technology's impact on society. Signing the bill into law yesterday, Governor Roy Cooper said the coding and technology skills that kids can learn in these classes are necessary. He went on to suggest requirements to colleges and universities, naming online child safety as a top concern. And there's another aspect to consider here, though. So many of our classrooms and instructors are overworked and underpaid. It's not clear how this new requirement is going to impact teachers and the schools that are now required to adhere. So there's a lot of factors here to consider, but we're asking this morning, did you take a computer science class in high school? Make sure you text us 704-329-3600. Guys, when I was in high school, it was called computer literacy, and we did learn a little bit of coding, none of which I remember. <laughs> we learned typing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the computer course that was available. We need so, updates. Yeah, all right.